of my favorite movies that I haven't seen in five years. The fuck is her name? Welcome to the 12 Days of Christmas. Today I'm really excited to show you guys a makeup tutorial uh, based off of one of my favorite Christmas movies of all time. Uh, it is significantly older than a lot of Christmas movies, uh, so if you haven't seen it, uh, you should. But also, forewarning, it is black and white. That movie is It's a Wonderful Life. It's one of the few, in fact, if we don't include Wizard of Oz, it's one of two black and white movies that I will watch because I don't like watching black and white. Don't know why, just never have. To Kill a Mockingbird, it's a wonderful life. That's all I'll do in the first part of Wizard of Oz. But It's a Wonderful Life is such a good movie and I thought, hey, instead of doing a makeup tutorial based off of the same things that everybody else does makeup tutorials based on, I was going to do something based off of something that means so much to me. So the character's makeup that I'm doing for you today that I'm going to be showing you guys how to do is Mary Hatch, who is married to George Bailey, uh, played by Donna Reed in um, It's a Wonderful Life. And I really like her makeup look because it is just so simple, it's so classic, and it's still a little bit festive while keeping that classicness. And I think it really works for the season. I'm really excited to share it with you guys because hopefully you guys will enjoy it as much as I do. Let's get started. Alright guys, so we're going to start out by um, moisturizing. I'm using the Avon Moisture Boost Lotion. I really like it because uh, I have really dry skin, so anything moisturizing is good for me. Uh, and then for my foundation, I'm going in with the L'Oreal True Match in the color Porcelain. As you guys know, I'm very, 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 very pale. <laughs> so this is the lightest shade that they have. Um, and then... <laughs> Yes, I'm white. Uh, then I'm going in with the Maybelline Master Conceal uh, Concealer with uh, just a little, what is that called? Sponge. Makeup sponge. And I'm really ready faced because of the weather right now, so I'm using quite a lot of it. Uh, and this is in the color fair because, again, I'm really white. And then I'm just going to set that all with the e.l.f. High Definition Powder, uh, which you guys know I adore almost to a fault. I swear by it. This shit is the best. Uh, just go ahead and buffer all that out, make sure that it's all smooth and your face is no longer shiny and gross. And then we're going to uh, contour just a little bit. I'm going in with just a little fluffy brush and then my BH Cosmetics. I have a 120 colors palette. It's just this light brown color um, because I like contouring with powder and then just obviously going in under the cheekbone, under the jawline, and then around the temples and then my nose just to thin it out just a little bit and then I go in and buffer that out with a brush before blending it with my fingers because as you guys know I hate brushes <laughs> it's not really that I hate brushes it's just that I can't afford brushes and I like what my fingers can accomplish uh, now for a highlight I'm going in with a Micah Beauty shimmer powder in the color Zircon I have fallen head over heels in love with these eyeshadows from Micah Beauty. I found them at the LA County Fair and I used this uh, Zircon as an eyeshadow and as my highlight and it is just beautiful and all just stays shimmery and stays just beautiful all day. Uh, next we're going to go in with a blush. I'm using my e.l.f. blush palette in the light shades uh, and I'm just going for like a really soft baby doll pink right in between that contour and that, that highlight. Now to get started on the eyes, we're going in with the Covering Girl Shimmering, Shimmering Sands uh, palette. I'm just using the lightest color and using that same fluffy brush that I used for the contour just to go over my entire eyelid. Uh, for the crease though, we're going back to that BH Cosmetics palette and using just a really light, almost shimmery pink and then a flatter fluffy brush just to go into that crease. It's a crease brush. I don't know why I never remember it's called a crease brush, but I'm not a professional. And then going back to the Zircon and that same round fluffy brush, uh, just going in on the corner of the eyes to kind of make them pop, open up, and uh, give a little bit of shimmer to the eye to draw the attention there. Again, I love, I love the Zircon. Then I'm just buffing off the excess before blending again with my fingers. Now for the eyebrows, I actually have an e.l.f. eyebrow kit. This is in the dark shade because I like my eyebrows to be a little bit darker. And it's really cool because it comes with a little angled brush 
on one side, fluffy brush on the other. You do a gel on the angled brush side and then you can go in with the fluffy brush and it has a powder, as you can see, that fills in the color. The gel lays the hairs where you want them to be and the powder fills things in so that way they look full. Then I'm just going in with a spoolie to kind of brush out the excess powder so that it doesn't fall onto the rest of my face. And now I'm going to go in with my mascara. I'm using the e.l.f. Mineral Infused Mascara. Uh, I really like this because it does make my eyelashes fall out, it doesn't make them clumpy and like heavy and hard feeling. Plus it just kind of puts nice nutrients into your eyelashes and I'm just doing a, a nice coat on the tops and the bottoms and then going back in with that spoolie just to kind of separate the lashes out a little bit because uh, Donna Reed has very separated eyelashes, I guess. Uh, and then the last part of the look is going to be the lips. I'm going in with the L'Oreal Color Rich Always Red Lip Liner, just to obviously line my lips. Weird how that works. And then for the lipstick, I'm using the NYX Butter Lipstick in Afternoon Heat, just to give that bright red pop that uh, is so true to the holidays. Okay guys, that's the end of the tutorial. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. I certainly enjoyed doing it. I think it turned out really, really nicely. And uh, hopefully it turns out really nicely if you guys decide to do it for yourselves. If you do, don't forget to send me pictures on Twitter and Instagram and tag me in things and send them to me and let me know because I'd love to see them. If you did like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Press the subscribe button down below so you get notified every time I post one of these stupid videos. It is the 12th days of Christmas. That means that there are several more videos for you to enjoy. Happy holidays. I'll see you soon. Okay, thanks. Bye!